How's it going, everybody? I am Kyle from Fantasy Forge Studios, and we are back with uh, some more uh, Adventures in Everlast. Uh, very Ooh. excited to be joined by most of our players today. Uh, Ikari might be joining us a little bit later. He had some work stuff that came up this weekend, but uh, very happy to finally be back with our uh, essentially our November stream of Everlast. Um, before we begin, let's go ahead and introduce each of our party members, um, starting with Zil. Oh no, I was unprepared. <laughs> this is a weird way to start this introduction. <laughs> I meant to say my name is Max. I play Zill, our resident tank, who has almost double the HP of every other party member. Um, has a lovely mouse best friend named Waffle. And which you must really be best friends if you're sharing that mask together. Doesn't actually know how to swim, so being underwater terrifies him. Lovely. Our next player is Luxalia. Hello, everybody. You might recognize me, or maybe not. Um, I'm Cole, as in the Cole Forge here on Fantasy Forge. Mm -hmm. And, uh, yeah, I play Luxalia, Silverwood. She's pretty lit, because <laughs> she likes light. Hey -oh. And, uh, yeah, she's the resident healer of the party. Keeps people alive, prays hard, works harder. Uh, just kidding. I'll flip that, reverse it. And, um, yeah, she has her flaws, but you never see them, so... <laughs> That's it. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there you go. <laughs> so does she really have them? She is virtuous. Yeah, yeah she so tries to be virtuous, but uh, I'll try to be show. better about bringing in those flaws, you know? <laughs> we do see them from time to time. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> in particular, when it comes to dealing with Belbin, it's good. Uh, he gets on her nerves. <laughs> Next, so. we have Yuki. Hey guys, I am Forged, um, or Dane here at Fantasy Forge Studios, and I play the character Mistletane Yuki. She's a silver dragon from the far north area of Flamongolith. It is a dragon city way up north, and she's pretty cool. She's a bard class, however, she's a DPS bard class, so she uses two broadswords to attack, um, and she uses dancing as like her main kind of focus towards things. So it's pretty cool. Um, underwater, it's been pretty nifty um seeing how she navigates that and um i'm very nervous because we're gonna be fighting a big old shark today so yeah this is true this is true and actually the Jar one thing about the underwater thinking. combat too is because it's technically like 3d combat um some of those like just general like diameter type effects that uh, yuki has extend into kind of more of like a sphere that's around her that's kind of interesting it's um nice and then we have the last uh, player joining us today is Belbin. Yes. Hi, guys. So I'm Connor. I play Belbin. <clears throat> Talk about getting on your nerves. He was getting on my nerves at the end of last session. He uh, went up to uh, see where this giant shark was or even just get a look at what's around us. Rolled a natural one on a stealth check, and that shark is attacking us. And then rolled a natural two. So now Belbin's going to fight it. He wants to pick a fight with it, apparently. And that was not what I would have wanted him to do, but hey, classic he's got a mind of his own. I know, you know, <laughs> I can't control him. I, you guys think that uh, he's hard to deal with for you guys? Just imagine being like his parent, essentially, <laughs> and losing control. So, oh, exactly, he does what he wants. He's just a Belbin. Yeah, he's a freaking honey. Can't badger. control him. He's a, he's yeah. not he's not a fox. <laughs> he's just a honey badger. Um, don't care. <laughs> And our final character, he might be joining us again, as I had mentioned a little bit later, but is Thordane, typically played by Ikari. Um, mechanically, will be controlled by Dane until, uh, yeah, he's he gets here. But um, Thordane is the one of the other support characters. He is a wood elf ranger, and so he uh, uses his bow to shoot things, even with his uh, disadvantage in water. He's he's hitting, he's killing, he's doing his thing. Um, he also has some supporty stuff that he's able to use to help the party in a pinch. But uh, 
maybe formally a man of science, um, he still is an elf shrouded in mystery to most of the party. Um, so there you go. Um, and I am Kyle. I am the Fate Weaver, but also the creator of this game of Everlast, uh, this new tabletop RPG. Um, and I'm glad to be able to share it with you thus far up until this point. Um, just a quick reminder. Um, with this being uh, still in development and playtesting and everything, Fantasy Forge Studios and myself, Kyle Lafont, own all of the copyright properties to uh, this game. Um, basically, that includes anything from like the video, audio, graphics, story, gameplay mechanics, and basically all the intellectual property that's involved in this game that is specific to Everlast um, is mine. Uh, feel free to use it for your own personal use, your own homebrew stuff. Uh, this world is a really fun world to explore, so uh, you feel free to use it for that. Just don't sell it as your own. Um, but uh, with that being the case, um, it, this is a really fun party to play with, and uh, with them being in the depths of this dungeon, and it seems like they've been in this dungeon for months, and it's just been kind of battle after puzzle after battle after battle. Um, until they're finally able to come across all these keys. But a little bit of recap before we uh, dive into uh, this chaos. Uh, at Klaus Aos, this group of adventurers making their way to Aishan Island, they have run into a number of things, but ultimately they are the holders of the Earth Key, and they are tasked with gathering the four holders of the Elemental Keys to have... Uh, essentially a council at uh, Aishan Island in Flomberge. And so, sailing the high seas, they made all their way all the way north to uh, speak with the King Ferrand who holds the sea key. And um, he, they came at a rather rough time as he is currently in search for Princess Mila, his, uh, his daughter, um, who had been kidnapped by the Krakora, um, narrowing down where she is in a ancient mountain uh, city. Um, underneath the ocean um, called the Depths of Tali Tali. Uh, he enlisted the help of Eklaseas to go hunt down um, the Krakora and search for his daughter in the process. And while they were venturing down there, they noticed that it's not only murky down here, but there are a number of wicked creatures from the Krakora to their scary little mutant spawns to giant sharks, as they had noticed. Um, and they're all... Uh, basically exploring this city, this underground city beneath a giant soot layer um, of uh, basically dirty water uh, in order to find keys, specific keys, which they have collected to thus far, um, two of the five in order to unlock um, the door to potentially find uh, Princess Mila. But uh, they have been exploring. They completed an ice block puzzle. They've uh, fought some of the Krakora off. Um, they weren't able to go completely undetected through the city. And as Belbin had mentioned, um, as they were trying to redirect themselves after claiming their uh, second key shard, um, he popped his head up to a very, very angry shark. A shark by the name of Vengrath. Um, a very evil, wicked, ancient beast that has come to nearly swallow them. But uh, dodging skillfully out of the way, um, Vegrath has made his way down into the city um, beneath the soot lair. And Belbin threw out a punch. And that is where we're going to go ahead and uh, get things started. And with that, I'm going to have everybody roll for an issue. Well, uh, you know this is a big, you know this is a big baddie when it's named. It's That's what I was going to say. <laughs> yeah. I was trying to find my pen to write it down. Off to a good start, yeah. though, guys. <laughs> also, you forgot to mention he has a shard tooth, right? Yes. Oh, yeah, that is one thing. Belbin did notice upon entry into the into the city that there was in basically caught in his te teeth there was a shard that has been implanted in there, and so uh, Eklos Eos knows that. Eventually, they are going to have to face this beast down. Whether now is the best time or situation for that is up to them to decide. Um, so yeah, go ahead and roll initiative for me, and I'm gonna go ahead and get that sucker track. Well, we're, we're starting good, at least on my end. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, I have to roll a little bit real quick. Mangrath probably sucks. He's probably got a zero initiative. He's, he's just <laughs> chunky. Um, thick boy. I have a feeling my defense, <laughs> my defense value won't be doing much. Well, I have a strong yeah, feeling this, this dude has like a plus 15 modifier to his hits. Mm -hmm. Oh god. Zil, what is your uh, priority? 12. It's not bad. 
Not bad. Thordain, did you roll for him? Yeah, I did. He got a 19. Uh, Luke's all you. 11! Last, uh, stayed the same. Uh, Belbin. 14. 14. Uh, and then King Farron ended up getting a 16. And you missed Yuki. me. Yeah. Are you going alphabetical? <laughs> no, I'm, go I'm going based off of the last priority initiative that you had. Gotcha. Yes, he's going um, alphabetically, starting with Zil. True, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's last <laughs> front, <laughs> last front, last front, yeah. There's so. a silent A. Yeah, right. <laughs> a Zil. Um, Yuki got a 17, not 16. 17. Um, all right, and that is going to kick us up for the combat. And so... A little bit of what the rest of the party sees. Belbin dodges out of the way as this enormous shark, even above, uh, like within the soot lair, where normally your vision is a little bit clouded. This great shark boom, bursts onto the scene, um, and you can see it. It is large. It, it, this thing is not as big, probably, as a Zaildoom, as that thing was, like, larger than your ship. But as far as a, a giant sea creature goes, this thing's much larger than your average shark as it just comes crashing through you can see that it its scales are almost plates uh to a degree and is actually i'm gonna have maybe thordane um i'm gonna have him make a wisdom check for me how does this compare to an alaskan bullworm <laughs> it's not as long as an alaskan bullworm but it is cool. thicker that's okay. a 13 oh dear <laughs> Um, with that, he, he takes a look at Vengrath's scales, and the one thing that he does take note of is it's actually kind of a similar design to the mutants that you guys had fought earlier. Um, this is probably either, like, DNA has been taken from this creature, or it's a spawn of this creature. Mm, that's not terrifying. Scientific. I like it. For <laughs> um, but with that, um, we're going to go ahead and just jump it off with Thordane. So, Thordane, you you all see this. This thing, so as a shark crashes beneath the soot layer, the soot begins to disperse a little bit as its giant great tail, like, basically stirs everything up. But you have mm -hmm. a moment where you're able to see. Um, Belbin, you were able to make an attack against it earlier. Um, so, that's good. Uh, as you punch it. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and start off with the win. Does anyone? Sorry. D does my thing activate? Oh crap! Is Belbin within thirty feet of me? First of all, protector of light. Second of all, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. He is not. Oh, <laughs> dude. I feel like protector of light is about to be doing some work. Hopefully. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. Second thing. Um. Does anyone need? Stamina that's within 10 did, feet of me. Did we, that, um, I don't that thing. Uh, don't you, like, could use it, she doesn't like need it, but she could use it. Did, did we, because cool, it's isn't yours. like every couple hours we regain stamina or something? I changed it at the end of every combat, you refill your stamina. Um, okay, oh. so we oh. should be full. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, basically, you'll see you'll, you'll start off each combat, uh, with the beginning of stamina. Stamina, the way that it's going to be tracked is it's like in the moment, in the heat of combat, like this is like. You've had a chance to get kind of like a breather and to refresh. Um, that'll be different if you start gaining points of weariness, but as of now, you Makes also sense. have the combat with completely refreshed stamina. So, that never um, nice. but you see this. What is Thordane doing? At this yeah, story? Thordane sees that, and he is going to move a little bit closer up towards Belbin. He's got a swim speed of 25 feet, so he's going to... He's going to move, I guess, up, maybe, hold up. Yeah, feel free. So uh, you guys can five, uh, feel free 10, to. 15, and then how far up are they character. specifically? So he, so they are the 15 feet up, like, at the soot layer. So 15 feet okay. up, and I think Thordane, last we saw of him, he was at the bottom of it. So okay. from the bottom, 15. Okay, so he is going to, yeah, move from here, 5, 10, 15, and then he's going to move up 10 feet. Okay. 10 feet. And he's going to see, by taking a look, squinting his eyes through um, his elf eyes at this freaking shark, he's just like, oh, yes, 
reminiscent of the Krakora, that is. I wonder if he is of similar ancestry. Does Thordane see that he's got bum tooth? Bum, or freaking shard tooth? Probably at not at this point. The only reason Belvin did see is because he narrowly escaped being chomped by this thing. Sweet. Like, he got, like, the up-close personal look. Okay. Um, well, Thordane, then, is going to use his wounding shot. Um, wait, wounding shot? Wounding shot. Yes, wounding shot. Um, so he's going to shoot uh, his arrow at it. Okay. If he can. So that would be... And again, this is made at, because you are in the water. This is going to be made with the spear. So roll twice, lower. Okay. It was better, but it's not that bad. Um... So that would be a dirty 16 to hit. Okay. This bamboo longbow. Um, does that hit? Thordane, he takes this arrow and he looses it. Not quite as fast with some resistance from the water. It launches into basically the armored plated siding of it and just boom, takes, tinks right off. It doesn't seem to have hmm. done anything to this creature. Hmm. FYI, it's not armor. It's like very hardened scales. So Yeah, that was a, that was a dirty 16 to hit, so. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and he missed. Yes. Yeah. Well, he tinked <laughs> off of it. <laughs> he hit him. <laughs> <laughs> it just didn't but, do anything. Yeah. Uh, oh, well, that's a, that's a freaking bummer. Um. Well. Yeah. Thordane <laughs> takes no. He scratches his chin. He's just like, oh yes. All right. See. This mm. is a. This is a quite the dude. All right. That's what he'll do. Now, now it is Yuki's turn. Yeah. Yuki is going to move. What she got? Fifty. She doesn't have a swim speed, so it's fifteen. Yep. She move. Five. 10 and then up five okay and then you and should be on because you were five feet below so you should be on the same levels as them as thordane as the um or not, not you... as thordane as uh because you were 10 Melbourne feet above already i think you went up to five feet up is like the 15 foot mark oh okay um she'll just go she won't go up she'll stay down uh okay. a, a level and just move one more forward okay. um she can't really do a whole ton if she's not give me one second um what she'll end up doing then um i mean everyone's doing okay with hp right i think everyone? i topped everyone I... off Okay. Except I think I'm the only one that doesn't, yeah. Okay. Yeah. But you're close, um, I think. Yeah. I'll probably be needing it, I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Give it five uh, minutes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, well, you know what? Yuki will just use her Dance of the Snowfall as a support action. Okay. Um, so, yeah, she'll do that. And so she now has sharp crystalline fragments in a circle around her, which is pretty nice. Cool. So. Um, and next, uh, King Farron, it is his turn. He's going to swim as he is kind of on the other side of the statue pillar. And he hears this, he swims around five, 10, 15 feet. And he sees the shark come crashing through and he calls out, I guess Belvin probably can't hear, but to the rest of the group that that's around and says, we need to find a more defensive position. Yeah. We're more than dead if we're out in the open. Yeah. And he... He's not going to engage. He's going to go is, 5, 10. Is this an accurate map? As in, like, we can see this structure over here. Yeah. And you can like, see it. This is right an there. accurate okay. map as far as things look and are concerned, yes. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, this sucks because we most of us only have a 15 foot freaking swim speed. <laughs> Has this thing like come on our level? Like, can we all see it at this point, or is it still also, above the? We can all see it. So, the, basically, it's the 15 feet, feet in height. And the last that I remember, uh, Luxalia, Zill, and King Farron were all at the 15 foot mark. Um, and same with Oh. Um, and then uh, Thordane is down five feet, and uh, Yuki is down. So they're at the 10 foot mark. Uh, which that's going to be King Farron's turn. So now it's Belvin. 
All right, Belvin not here and King Farron is engaging this guy in combat. Oh no. Go oh ahead no. And <laughs> make attacks as it were. Remember, you have your first turn unwounded stuff. True. Yes. He could do some damage. Just I uh, get your hopes up. Um, <clears throat> you don't have my protector of light, so. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, so for the first one, 15 won't hit. 15 will die. Oh, gosh. <laughs> 14 won't hit. 14 will not hit. <laughs> 19 ah! will, will a 19 hit? The 19 will hit. Ooh, Wait, <laughs> hold up. Doesn't, doesn't that happen on the act, like the attack action turn? Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. I'm, oh, I'm are you, you're rolling. punching him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, attack sorry. Action, yes. Are you, yeah, no, you just engaged in combat, so. Yeah, I'll just engage. The nice yeah. thing is you can re roll those once the time happens. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I got you! <laughs> Zill, it is your turn. Hearing King Farron, he kind of shouts, it's like, You guys should find defense! I can distract him in the moment! Um, Zill, he's like night. way bigger than you! I don't know. <laughs> a nice morsel. A nice morsel. I think you could fit in his mouth pretty easily. Probably. <laughs> um, and then... Am I even allowed to taunt this thing? Yeah, you could try. Yeah, why not? <laughs> why not? Um, <laughs> which is different because... The action taunt, not the feature taunt, or the trait taunt that gives me my bigger control zone. Right, right, right. Is it an influence check? It's an influence check, yes. Okay. Uh, dirty 16. Dirty 16. He failed it. <laughs> Woo! Yo. <laughs> he failed it? He, he failed his against uh, oh. yours. I am very happy and terrified to hear this information. <laughs> you got it. How are you taunting him? Hey, you big dummy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Pulls down his pants and spanks his left butt cheek. <laughs> hey, Sauron. Sauron. Hey, Sauron. You suck. <laughs> And as you scream the, these oh, taunts at him, uh, Vegrath, who initially had its eye on uh, consuming the, the Gliven immediately to his right, <sighs> faces over to Yuzil. So essentially this turn, um, when it becomes his turn in combat, he's going to have to attempt to disengage Belden. Um, wow. And make Clutch. his way towards Yuzil. So he's suspended. Belbin's just, his reflex Belbin's just gonna hold on to its fin. <laughs> Mission Impossible, this man. <laughs> <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't slowing anyone down, but you know. <laughs> uh, all right, is that what you're gonna do, Zil? Yep. Okay. Now it's Luxali's turn. Oh my. Um, <laughs> Luxali's gonna be like, "Be careful, Zil. Also, maybe try to try to get the thing out of its teeth." Oh, wait, I haven't seen that. Never mind. I should have. <laughs> yeah. uh, be careful, Zill! And uh, she's... I'm 15 feet in the air. Yeah. Or, like, up? Yeah, up. Okay. At the um, top of the okay, I'm going to broadcast my mouse here. This is King Ferrand. Yep. Okay. Um. Oh, boy. Uh, I guess I will move one closer to him because i'm on top of the statue right yes okay so i'm gonna move like there and then down how far down is he is he, he all the he's way on your ground? level he's on your level oh okay mm -hmm. um i mean okay while i'm here can i use a support action to like try to find a defensible position mm -hmm. Because as of now, like, you can kind of see generally in this area, and you can yeah. only see that it's pretty much like a bare, like, plaza. Um, yeah. With the exception of this statue. Um, yeah. I would say you can use a support action to make a wisdom or focus skill check to try to find and the closest Sick. piece of, um, yeah, the closest useful piece to you. Okay. Oh, that, I'm gonna re-roll that. It didn't go in my dice tower. 
I wish I didn't. Uh, five. Five. <laughs> Unfortunately, you are unable to see much past uh, where, where you're seen. You're kind of at this point more relying on King Farron and where he's going. He seems to be moving in a general direction, um, but okay. um, that's um, all you have to go on. Can I ask King Farron where he's trying to move to? Yeah, sure. <laughs> King Farron, where are you moving? You're way faster than me, so I need a head start. <laughs> he he looks to you and says, "We need to find a place to take cover. I'm just moving to the general direction where we thought we were, where I thought we were going to be heading in the first place." Oh! <laughs> I know that there's large buildings that are north of here. <laughs> Great. And I'll move. Uh, I guess two more. Well, ah, sh- I'll move one down. And, and one more forward, so I'm like there, but like one level down. Here is the helpful thing. So this is going to be your guide for centered on how much you can see is based in the red. Okay. Oof. Okay. Um, so great. basically this red zone is how much everybody can see centered on that. Cool. Cool. I just figure if we're closer to the ground, that'll be advantageous. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe unless not. unless it's a sand shark. <laughs> that fair. <laughs> I don't know. I just feel better with ground closer to me. <laughs> so how so how, so ten feet down lower? Uh, no, just five because I only have fifteen feet and I already moved five. So I'm moving ten feet north, basically, and five feet down. Perfect. Um, and with that, that brings us to this guy. Oh side. wait, am I in range of him? Uh, with the attacks, yes. Yes, yeah, and you can see him at the current moment outside of this. He's a big shark, so you can get some. Okay, um, I'm gonna try to hit him with my silver wood staff. All right, go ahead and make an attack. Which is it's a ranged attack. Yes, I think it's just three. a sh- it's just straight, a straight roll plus, plus, plus three. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Straight roll plus three. Gosh, all the twos. <laughs> yeah, I don't hit. Okay. Get him out of yeah, this, this, this <laughs> man charge will go as it ah! flies off uh, in all right. the direction. But misses. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, and with that, that brings us to Vengrath. So we are going to go ahead and make a disengage action with you, Belvin. So essentially what you're going to be doing is making an influence uh, skill check, and it's going to be contested against his influence. Nice. Okay. Are you feeling influential? I'm feeling very influential, unfortunately. (laughs) (laughs) He got a 20. Okay, not that. I'm 17. (laughs) Dang. He disengages. Does he get a free punch? Right in this schnoz. And as he, uh, it's weird because he disengages, but he still is able to be in contact with uh, Belbin. So technically, <laughs> he's initiated a combat challenge against Belbin, Yuki, and. Uh, oh, well, no. I'm, I'm five feet below him. He's a big I'm not on guy. the same level. He's Ooh. huge. All right. So he extends about <laughs> ten feet in width. So like his like he's like ten he's five feet above. He's at the soot layer and he's five foot below. And oh so he's engaging well, all of you. His attentions are focused on Zill, but he has. So a- this is this is my question then. Yes. Because the my specific art that I want to use, I have to have been initiating in combat. Does that mean I can't use it this turn since technically he's in combat with me? Yeah, you have to initiate the combat challenge. Gosh darn it! Why did I have to go first? You can still attack him, though. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I can't do cool stuff. Next turn, maybe. Uh, <laughs> Yuki, everything you do is cool. Oh, FYI, no. um, so as uh, this uh, shark comes into each of your kind of vis- fields of view, everybody at this point sees him very clearly. Um, wow. That's a big shark. On your movement phases, you can spend support actions to like investigate to see if there's any kind of, like if you feel like, I don't have a support action that's useful. You can always try to like look for like weaknesses in your enemies, like that kind of stuff. Just FYI, um, those are things that you can do. Um, 
But Go for the eye! Eye. that's going to take it? us into uh, the, the combat, which is uh, starting with Thordane, which he doesn't have anything. Um, so He's admiring. Um, well, that's nice. Uh, Yuki is going to do what she does best. And she's FYI, gonna, what like, was the, the frost? Um, so the only things? if he attacks me, basically. Okay. So, I yeah, if he attacks me, then he takes frost damage. Um, and I'm also immune to uh, frozen and blinded. And it lasts six turns. Um, so yeah, so Yuki is going to. Where is she positioned on this guy? Like, so you're like on like the bottom left of like him. So like, so like left nipple, kind of like here, yeah, like like right here. Oh neck, what a gills. Well, kind of gills. All right, this thing's right. got many nipples. Sharks right? don't really have necks, so yeah, like, that's true. right here. General. <laughs> he is a neck. It's neck body. <laughs> is, it that he, is it that he has no neck or he is all neck? Yeah, that's what I'm <laughs> <laughs> He's like a giraffe. That. I don't like <laughs> that. I don't like, that. I don't like that. Uh, that. Yuki, Yuki seeing that it's just clear by, she's going to be like, well, thanks for coming closer, good friend, and bah, stabs it all right. if she can. So she's gonna use her Vorpal Void and Broadsword to hit. So that's a 10 plus eight, 18 to hit. That'll hit. Oh! <laughs> so 18 hits. Um, so that it's is enough. 10 plus nine. So that's 19 cutting damage. Woo! And then, oh, well, that was max damage with that one. And then this, she's gonna use her dual wielding and go with her Broadsword. 14 plus 8, which hits. Um, and that is 7 plus 8. What is that? Math people out there. 7 plus 15. 8, 15. 15. 15. 15 cutting damage with that. Whoppa! Right in the gill slot. And then she's going to attack again with her Void and Vorpal Broadsword. So that is a 14 plus a nah eight so it hits man yuki see this is what she's good for um that is another max damage 19. Woo! wow um Basically. yeah let me yeah let me take cut take off those stamina points that's all she could do by the way so Yuki, She's as you long. take your sword, so you just start slashing mm. against it. You actually, with your first cut that you make, um, you can see that it leaves a small little scratch on the surface of its body, and like almost as if sparks start coming off of your blade. Mm. You stab into that mm. kind of wounded area again. You're able to, uh, you feel like a little bit of give, like you are stabbing it, and then you go against that same area with your Vorden Vorpal Broadsword again. Um, it doesn't seem to be bleeding or anything, um, but it does, it does, what's the fight? He's thick. Uh, <laughs> He's real thick. Uh, ah! Oh, it's gonna last oh, 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 <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, that's all she can do. So that's so. King Farron, who can't do anything, and then Velvet. Um, it is your turn. Right. Hit him with the chair! <laughs> you get him. <laughs> Use the chair. <laughs> um, Belm's a little upset that, uh, Yuki got uh, to sure. touch the butt first. first blood. Yeah. <clears throat> There's not even blood so, yet. It's okay. True. <laughs> first flesh. Yes. Oh, I can tell I'll be missing two of my three attacks, but I'm guessing a 20 will hit him. Yeah, that'll hit. Him. Yeah. Okay. So I'll be able to hit him once with. Uh, All right. Oh, I'm sorry. He's damaged. That's all I'm right. Sorry. I would have, I would have gotten a nat sixteen if you didn't damage him. But that's I'm all right. Sorry. Um, ah! So oh. it'll be fifteen points of impact damage and two of darkness. Yeah, you begin wailing on it. The first one you hit, and you feel the immediate resistance, as if like it's kind of like a slippery surface on your first hit, uh, basically slides off the second hit trying to find more of a center focus you hit it and you can feel a reverberation go up your arm this thing seems really tough but kind of with that in your mind you take the third hit and this does land true and you can feel that 
boom, there's a little bit of give in its uh, scales, and your basically dark energy, boom, pulses into it. Um, this seems to do more than your just attacks in general. Um, Stick. Um, so it's resistant to cutting, basically, essentially. I like it. Probably f all physical. Uh, well, Belbin's physically yeah. punched. <clears throat> Yeah, but it was Wait, dark. It was the dark that did the. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I see. I see. I see. Hmm. All right, is that it, Belbin? That's all I can do. Zill, it's your turn. Is this thing? It's facing me. It's right? facing you, so it's just. Ooh, it's like As the nose is like right I, there. Hit him in the nose. Think, I didn't think to ask, um, but when it came up, did I notice anything? I mean, did I notice the mirror shard? Is really what I'm trying to ask. Make a wisdom or focus skill check. Wisdom or focus. Ooh. Nine. <laughs> what is it? Nine. Nine. Um, unfortunately, you do not notice. Dang it. Uh, um... You see a big scary shark coming right at you. And as this thing, it, it hasn't quite opened its mouth in order to chomp but you can see this thing is huge and it can swallow you in one bite if it wanted to. Still, that might be uh, the way to go. Hold on. I I have plans. I have plans. It's fine. Don't forget. I've got a teleport. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> you do have a teleport. <laughs> Which I don't use often, but I have it. But not, I mean, I want to try to swing the mirror out, but I don't think the mirror's here, there yet. Um, so I think I just want to try to keep this thing's attention off everybody else mm -hmm. um, until they're safe. So I'm just going to swing at it. All right. And just like try to give it a third nostril, basically. I like to do it. Go for it. <laughs> Come on. Oh, it went from the 13 to the 3. That ain't gonna hit. That's hit a 9. Oh. That's a 9. You do. You hit it and just boom, bonks right off of the tip of his nose as you just... Um, it is now his turn since Latolia <gasps> is not able to do anything. And oh. then grabs this mighty beastly shark. He looks uh, to you specifically, Zill, and he is going to unleash a a slam with him coming in basically fast and furious he's gonna go yes. ahead and do a slam attack against you um and so this is Ouch. plus 20 to hit <laughs> that's gonna is be a 35 hit? To hit. <laughs> just barely but uh, um but wait oh yeah protector of light surprise surprise <laughs> <laughs> that is a Woo. What, what is it? A face yeah, yeah, yeah. Damage. It's, uh... Da, 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 da. Oh, 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 oh. I should be I think it's I a think fate survival check. You know, ho, ho. Fate survival check or... Uh, fate survival check. Right, they don't have a lot of fate. Going to be a 19. Yeah, that passes. Oh, you don't um, take damage, so... You don't take damage yeah. as it just slams. You can feel this force just basically hit against you, and there's, like, this shield that just completely shatters in front of you. Um, and you you are in a state that you are very vulnerable. It's going to quickly uh, spin in a circle, and it's with its tail. It's going to hit you, Belvin, and Yuki um, oh, with a single Good attack. Luck. I'm going to have all of you make agility survival checks. Although, as this shield breaks, what mu some might consider a prayer, Zill just under his best, like, Luxalia, you beautiful bastard. <laughs> Eight. Quite. <laughs> um, an 18 for you. What was it? 18 for you. Okay. Agility. Agility. I'm going to. 19. I'm going to burn a blessing because that was a nat one. Ooh. And re roll it. Wow, Belvin, you are rolled hot, my friend. Uh, it's not my day, I'm guessing. 19. Okay. That's what that's what Zell got. 19. Wow, all of you are just feeling, feeling good. You are don't get none of you get hit by the initial force of the tail however the the force of the basically water pressing against you it's all you can do to keep your positioning and stay in place you don't automatically fail your positioning rules you also don't go prone uh, from this however you all uh receive uh 
Zero for Yuki. Six points of uh, damage. So sure. that's going to be six points to Zill. And let's see for everybody else. So I gotta, I'm going to make two checks. One for Belvin, one for Yuki. The first one for Belvin yeah. is going to be a... Eleven. Oh, no. For the to hit? rival check to no no for the uh, shield. Oh, oh. The shield. yeah, they're right. Belvin didn't get the shield. Um, oh, yeah, Belvin, yeah, I didn't so have the you shield. Got, you got six uh, points. Six. For points, Yuki. Eight. Okay. Yuki had the shield. But yeah, that eleven fails. Okay. Uh, Unless you want to re-roll for that for Yuki. No, 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 that's fine. I mean, I just and it takes it also takes eight frost damage as well. All right, on top of that. Nice. Um, Let's fifteen go. light. Damage. <laughs> oh my gosh. Is that max damage for that? Oh, <laughs> Almost. It's one d twelve. <laughs> oh no, no, no! I lied. I lied. Sorry. My element is not five. That's piety. Fourteen damage. Okay. Still. One d twelve plus element. I rolled a ten. So. Nice. Oh, um, oh, with that, oh, it goes in to make, make this basically huge whack at all of you, and it does hit uh, Belvin and Zill. Uh, again, all you can do is just ca- kind of keep your positioning there, and you see this another shatter happen, but this time the shatter breaks off and then boom, 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 begins pelting it, um, and as it becomes, comes in contact with you, also Yuki, um, it uh, starts, these these ice shards begin cutting in, almost in uh, as if they can easily find the fleshy patches uh, within its scales. Um, and at this point, it has started to bleed a little bit. There is blood in the water. Ooh. Can, Ooh. I got first we, blood. <laughs> can we tell where the blood is coming from? Basically, Like chinks in the scale kind of thing? So it's leaking kind of like out of... You know how like like plate armor is kind of like layered like this? Yeah. It, it like basically out of like the crevices of. Okay. The so we're not ex- like. You're not well, exposing. Okay. You're not chinking like uh, the the steel yeah. or anything off of it, but it seems to be affecting it more than what like a punch or like a weapon blade would. Let's take gotcha, the gotcha, gotcha. Those are fleshy. Would uh? Give them gins of Would items. the blood of this shark be attracting? Like, will other sharks smell the blood? And be like uh, coming. You, you can make a wisdom skill check for me. We can only hope. Belden. <laughs> I'll make a wisdom skill check. I'll probably be in that one. Ooh, no, this is actually. Why can this have been a hit? Uh, 17. Um, not immediately. It's 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 a small amount of blood. It's not like he's like heavily bleeding. Um, the more that he bleeds, the chances are the more it will attract other. Plus, the more that this thing is flailing around this giant shark, the more attention it brings. So, yeah, that makes sense. Gosh, positioning rules. So, Belbin, uh, Zill, and Yuki. I'm gonna have each of you make uh, physical skill checks for me. And you push this thing away from you. Um, <laughs> do they get to combine all of their scores? That's a 15 for Yuki. 15 it's for a Zill. 14. Oh, Elvin. Who is oh God, Zill? Like He's rolling well. What is happening? I know. Hey, <laughs> he question. got a twelve. And so... yeah. Oh, sweet. Woo! Let's go. <laughs> so you're able to, and it's not so much that you push him back, but he turns around and basically reorients himself in order to attempt to. Um, but you're able to withstand basically the insane movements because, as you had mentioned, there's really no pushing this thing back. But uh, as far as you're able to keep it in place. Um, with that being the case, I'm going to have you all roll for initiative. Woo! Ooh. Okay. Oh, these rolls are horrendous. Get them out now. I don't know what's happening, but I'm rolling so well today. <laughs> Very average, so, hey. All right, let's go ahead and start with Thorday. 15. Thorday. Yuki. Uh, Yuki got a nine. Uh, King Farron got eight. Belden. 
10. Uh, Zil. 18. <laughs> That's what yeah, I like to see. Luke Salia. What the heck? 10. Um, Luke Salia, what is... Okay, you're definitely not as agility as Belvin, so... Belvin's got it, yeah. What is your agility? 7. Well, 14, but 7. I've got a 4. So. Alright, we're starting off this movement with, uh... With Zill. Oh, first and foremost. Yeah. Remember, you can oh, make, yeah. you can make focus skill checks for things. Um, yeah. But I'm gonna have you all make a uh, wisdom skill checks. For you. Um, everybody, nice. I think everybody. Hold on, give me one second. Everybody except for Luxalia and. <laughs> it's a natural one for Yuki. It's okay. It was a bad roll. And. Thordane. Oh, uh, Wisdom, you said? Wisdom, yep. Thordane got an 18. Ooh. 16 for Belbin. Okay. And what, sorry, what was Yuki's? Uh, natural one. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And then still, also King Farron. four. Wisdom skill check for me. At 16. At 16. Oh, my uh, Zill! Yeah. Belvin, Zill, and uh, Thordane, as he swims away and begins to turn around to reorient himself, you can see that there's uh, something that is a little bit off from his general exterior, um, specifically down below. What looks to be another fin, upon closer examination, it looks to be a, a shaft of something sticking into him. Um, as oh. if a spear or harpoon or something of some kind sticking into his underside. The three of you. Yuki just thinks he's a man is all she thinks. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at the size uh, of that thing. <laughs> impressive. It's kind of small and it's it's a weapon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for the, I guess compared to the size of that thing, it's pretty small, but. <laughs> Um, anyway, so with that, we're gonna go ahead and jump. Start. We'll start off with the Zill. Also, King Farron gains three points of stamina. Not that he used any, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, He'll go can I make it. that focus skill check to investigate? Ah, uh, yes. Go ahead, and make a. Uh, go ahead, and make a wisdom skill check for me. Wisdom. Okay. Nat sixteen. <laughs> oh my gosh! Two in a row. <laughs> He goes. Upon closer examination, you don't notice that you don't only notice that this thing is wedged in there. It looks old, um, as if it's been there for quite some time. However, the shaft itself doesn't seem rusted at all. But you look more at where it's impacted, and you can see that if you are to pull this out, um, this this spear, it would reveal what looks to be a, a very fresh wound. Do I notice the mirror shard? Uh, is that specifically what you were looking for? I want to say yes, but I don't know if I would have known to look for it. No. Is the thing. This is going to be this is going to be strictly for the the harpoon. Um, it's pretty good. Unless, okay. yeah, so it's this good. Is be strictly good for the harpoon. That's the thing that you noticed first and foremost. Can go get him, Zell. He's really oh. fast. You can get it. Don't let me get. Don't let him Can get. Can I me. look I need to attack him. for? Because that's a support action, right? Yeah, that's your support action. Move Can back. I check again? Again for? I know I'm looking for the mirror. Zill doesn't, so he's just looking. Yeah, in general. absolutely, absolutely. Feel free to make. Because <laughs> I use my second support action. Feel free to make. A, Hold on, let me different. let me check something real quick. Do it. Okay. My feather, my teleport is a support action, but this is a little more important. Wis is it wisdom? Yep. Eleven. Eleven. Um, unfortunately, do not notice it at the given time. Okay. Then I'm going to kind of relay the spear information as best as I can, as quickly as I can, mm -hmm. to everybody else. Yeah, I think at I this don't... point, the way that you are, everybody can hear you. And then I'm going to swim. I'm like... Yeah. Go for the spear. I'll keep its attention. Swim for its face. So, so like, the spear is on the underside, basically, like, right in, in like, its chest. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cool. 
I'm try I'm not going for the spear. I'm just trying to keep him distracted so everyone else can. Okay. So you're And I relay combat. that to them. Perfect. Yeah, and I'm initiating combat. Perfect. Um, and with that, we're gonna go to Thordane. Yeah, Thordane seeing the spear, he's gonna actually kind of go and swim below him if he can. I mean, those are all the pull up. Let me see. Um, so he is 10 feet below the dude. So he's got 25 feet. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. Would he be able to reach the spear at that point? <laughs> he would be able to reach the spear at this point. What's Can he use a support action to try to yank it out of him? Make a uh, physical skill check. Thordane. Okay, come on. Looks like he's Thordane. about to be eaten. Why is Thordane yeah, so fast? Because he's got 25 swim speed. I don't know. <laughs> it's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. Sick. It's because he's lived in the Underdark. He's, he's got extra physical? bonuses to his speed that allow that's a 15. A 15. Um, Thordane, as uh, he swims underneath, and he's able to get his hands on the spear, able to get his second hand on the spear, and with all of his might, he pulls and he rips it out freely. Oh. Uh, he ha technically has now the harpoon of a Shalomville. Oh. Dude, why does Thordane get all the cool things? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Because he's fast. I don't know. <laughs> um, what is that? What kind of weapon is that? It's a harpoon. It's a spear. I don't know if he's proficient Wait, with it. Wait, for meta, was that the, the thing that chased us? What's a Shalomfil? No, yeah. Shalomfil is a city, right? It's the Order of Men, isn't it? The City of Men? It was the very, it was the, basically the very first capital of Everlast. And so it was at, at, the, at the dawn of the first age, essentially where Aishan Island is. Um, it basically uh, is around where the city of Ashallanville was at the base of Aishan. Because the keep we were at was like a, a Shallanville keep that the sorcerer took over, wasn't it? For, for what? The jungle, the sorcerer, Amios. So it wasn't necessarily a Shallanville keep, but you did find a crown of Shallanville there. Right. Mm -hmm. So Thordane's just completing the set. <laughs> yeah, so far. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but one thing that, that so uh, Thordane does notice as, as he rips this uh, spear out, this harpoon, um, it's beginning to actually like physically like bleed and pump out blood from this mm. uh, area. So That's what that means mechanically good. is attacks made against the specific spot um, will have a certain effect if you really because of oh. his movement and then the way that he uh, wiggles around, um, you're going to have to roll an in the way check. At the moment, you have to roll, so it's a d8 for how in the way checks go. Before you make your attack roll, you roll a d8. On a 5 plus, you hit the wound. On anything less than that, you make your attacks against him as normal. And so you're hitting him at normal. And then whatever bonus effects happen for hitting the wound will be revealed once that happens. So. Oh, sweet. Thordane's like, oh, guys, look what I got. Wow, he's pumping some blood out of here. <laughs> it's just, and he, he has five other feet, so he's going to move five feet more in that direction to kind of make room for people. And as uh, he actually rips the spear out, you hear a... This seems to have, has, this seems to have been really painful. Uh, yeah. Alleviated him. Oh, alleviated, alleviated like a like a. Just <laughs> 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 That's so good. It's like the videos of like oh, the cows that you just go like, <laughs> Wait, is he about to turn into a good guy and be like, I'm actually really nice. I just I was in pain. So much. <laughs> <laughs> that was born in my side for so long. As you see, I have these fins that I can't reach. Does anybody <laughs> speak <laughs> shark? <laughs> he still Does anybody speak growl? Fish are friends, <laughs> not food. That's all I know. Um, with that though, uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump to so Vengrath's turn. Um, he's initiating combat. He's not going to. Come to the game, so he's gonna do his thing and just stay there. Um, Belden. Get um, all right. Exactly what Max wanted, but it's and terrifying. And Felbit, you see Brazil. this, because that was one thing that you had noticed was the spear, and you saw Thordane go mm -hmm. and essentially rip it out. So it's up to you to do whatever you want with that information. Yeah. 
first thing I want to look at Yuki and see her face when uh, Zill, or not Zill, sorry, um, Thordain pulls off his, uh, what she thinks is a man part. Yeah. Uh, Yuki's like, ah, did I really just see that? <laughs> and just sees a bunch Disgusting. of blood pouring out the bottom. <laughs> That's one way to Your do it, Thordain. <laughs> I guess that's one way to take it. Yeah, I feel it's that, Low self-esteem. <laughs> wow, that wasn't on there very well. <laughs> He's anxious, you know. It's all good. Okay, oh, then. After having a good laugh... <laughs> I can picture Belvin just being like, oh my god. Ultimate like, satisfaction. Before we do anything. It's okay to have a sense of humor about these things. Belvin's going to swim up to... He's got 25 feet of, it, of he movement. Yeah. He'll go 5, 10. How does it work when I, like... I'll have to go down, down 5. five. And then I still have 10 left, so I'm guessing I'll be able to get to his wound. Yeah, yeah, or, absolutely. Cool. So I'll... Basically, if you're anywhere within kind of like the center here, so you probably can make okay. it to about here. Cool. Yeah. That works. So basically, um, anywhere within like the center area, you'll be able to attack. And then uh, just engage... Well, mm, yeah, I'll just engage in combat. Perfect. I know you already went into know. his control zone, so that, that's, that's yeah. inevitable. Um, Sweet. Yuki, your turn. Uh, I got a nine. I think uh, you or Luxalia is before me. Uh, Luxalia yeah, is, yes, that is that's true. Luxalia. Cool. Well, um, Luxalia is going to say to King Farrand, well, I guess we're not finding a more defensible position. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, I mean, there's structure over here. Down yonder way. I guess you know. that's true. You know. Um, and she's going to um swim. I guess she's five feet under King Farron, so she'll go like five, ten, fifteen ish. Okay. And she is that a spot? A little bit more. Yeah. There you go. There we go. Okay. Um. And then, what now? Um, she will use her attack action to do a ranged attack and hit it with Pillar of Light. Oh. I'm assuming I don't target specifically for. Yeah, art. you have no idea. You have no way of knowing at this point. You just see that. Yuki oh. whispers, Thorin pulled off his thing. Oh. <laughs> his, his, his manhood. Oh, that one. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. That, oh my god! How did he do that? that? That's a strong choice. Oh. Uh, <laughs> okay. No one know, knew he was good at judo as well, but apparently. Oh man. Um. <laughs> so anyway. Da, 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 da. Pillar of light, 80 feet away. DC 8 plus piety, so 13. Uh, faith, uh, faith survival. That's going to be an 11. Sweet. Let's go. So hold it. I like to hear Let's that. Let's go. All right. That's going to be... Great role, but that's it. Uh, thanks. Wow. Okay. Uh, wow. That's 12, I think. Yeah. Six plus six is 12, guys. I can do math. <laughs> uh, okay. It takes 16 light damage. Okay. Um, and. Yeah, that, that's it. Yeah, you call you call forth this beam of light, just and it seems to strike him from basically the top of his body, and you can see it exiting from below him, 
Um, and it just, you can see, <laughs> pulsate throughout all of it. Um, is Beautiful. he also blinded for failing? Only if he fails the check by four or more. Okay, so he didn't. Yeah. Oh. Is okay. he, does he have the shadowed veil trait? No, he doesn't. Okay. Yeah. It does other things for that. Um, and then I'm going to use my support action to look for, um, more defensible.